Hello everyone, welcome to a new series for developers who are interested in developing with Experience Cloud and Lightning Web Runtime Sites. In our sixth episode, we will look at how to use different navigation techniques like the anchor tag or the navigation service. When building a website, you often have the need to navigate your users around, be it to direct them to another page on your site, another Experience Cloud site, or an external web page. And you may want to pass parameters for those navigation requests to provide a good user experience. Now, there are two options on how you can do this within LWR sites, using the standard anchor tag, as you know it from regular web development, or the Lightning Navigation Service, which is an out-of-the-box module to support user navigation with an experience cloud. Let's start with the Lightning Navigation Service first, what it is and why you should use it. The Lightning Navigation Service is an abstraction layer. It ensures that URLs will always be consistently constructed and called. We look here at a basic setup for using the service. At the top, we import the navigation mixin function from the Lightning Navigation module. To be able to use a function, we have to apply the function to our components base class. And then we can use the navigate method of the mixin to navigate to another page. The object that is passed to the navigate method is called a page reference, which we will explore later more in detail. So why is it important to use the Lightning Navigation Service at all? Imagine we may change in the future the URL format for, let's say, opening the homepage of a site. Or we extend existing navigation capabilities. If you hard code everything within an anchor tag, you may have to revisit your code base. By using the Navigation Service, we ensure that everything will continue to work. So let's see it in action. We are here back in the AZ Insurance Sample application. At the top, we have a menu entry for our CMS powered block. For the simplicity of the demo, we have a single blog post in our blog post list. And when we click on it, it navigates us to the block detail page. This is because we provide an agnostic page for our block details and use data passed via the navigation service to determine which block entry we want to display. Now let's check out how we did that. Here we have a side-by-side -side for our CMS block list component. All blog posts that have been queried from CMS are stored in the blocks property. And for every block item, we construct a new div, where we store the content ID as the blog post as a data ID attribute. Now when someone clicks on that div, we execute the navigate function of the navigation mixin. As parameter, we pass a page reference object of type standard web page. This page reference takes exactly one attribute, which is the target URL. And in our case, it is a constructed URL for our agnostic page. The value of the data ID attribute is then used to specify the block ID query parameter. Our next step is then to use the navigation service again to actually fetch the query parameter on our block detail page. This is where we can use page references again to be specific, the current page reference which gives us a description of the current page. We can access the page's query parameters then using the page references state property. Within that property, query parameters are stored as key value pairs, like our block ID. So far you learned how to use the navigation service using the standard web page type. For experienced cloud sites, you can also use additional types. First, the com login page type. This one runs a login-related action like login or lockout. And second, the common named page type, which enables you to navigate to a specific page based on its API name. Now, you may also be familiar with additional page types that can be used in Experience Cloud, but they don't work yet within the LWR template. One of these limitations is, for example, navigating to record pages, so you will have to build that your own. Check out the description, which contains links to the relevant document to learn more about that. Now, thanks so much for viewing. Feel free to like the video and see you next time when we talk about how to build custom record pages and also how to navigate to them. Never miss an episode by subscribing and turning on your notifications.